Hello, today we're going to be discussing the case of William Burke and William Hare, the Body Snatchers of Edinburgh, Scotland. Um, while we do that, we're also going to be doing a Wednesday Addams inspired makeup look. Um, and it's also theater makeup, which means that it's going to be a lot more dark and a lot more bold so that you don't get washed out under stage lights. So, let's begin. William Hare and William Burke both moved to Edinburgh, Scotland to work on the... I just dropped that on my desk. To work on the Union Canal. They were from Ireland originally. And they moved to... For the job opportunity for the Union Canal. <clears throat> A little bit of backstory. Um, William Hare moved to Scotland before working on the Union Canal. Um, he married a woman named Margaret, and Margaret was a widower. She, um, her husband died, and her husband left her his property, which was a lodging house, um, which was basically like an apartment. An apartment complex people owed rent whatever so um also a little bit more backstory as to why william burke and william hare even needed to body snatch in the first place the judgment act the judgment of death act of 1823 um was an act that said that judges whenever they were deciding the death penalty they did not have to decide um, based on like a charge, they just decided themselves if the person just des um, deserved the death penalty. So, um, this affected the science community um, because there were a lot less bodies to, um, you know, experiment on. Because most, if not almost all, of the bodies that were used in these scientific experiments were the um, bodies of executed criminals. So, there's a shortage of, <clears throat> there's a shortage of, um, cadavers to be used. <clears throat> so, people, surgeons and stuff are paying money for people to bring in corpses that they can experiment on. So, William Burke and William Hare, they <clears throat> start kind of co-owning this lodging house, right? Because William Hare married Margaret, yeah. Um, and they have a, an elderly tenant and he dies just of, you know, old age. He dies of old age and William Hare is very angry because this older man still owed four euro in rent. Um, so, they come up with the idea, they're like, oh, we can go and sell this. We can go and sell this man for his rent. They go and they sell him to a doctor called Robert Knox. Dr. Robert Knox. Um, Dr. Robert Knox buys the, old, the older man for seven euro. And that is enough of a profit for William Burke and William Hare to keep going <laughs> they're into it they love it so their next victim now this is the first one that they killed actually his name was joseph and joseph um was incredibly sick he was very very sick and he was staying at this lodging house um so william burke and william hare did not feel like waiting around so they decided that they were just going to take matters into their own hands and kill Joseph themselves. So they, in the night, they smother Joseph with a pillow, um, which is their favorite, becomes their like favorite MO, right? They, they use this, they use the smothering with a pillow thing because Whenever they're getting examined, you know, after they take them in, whenever they're getting worked on by these students or these doctors, there's really no way that you can tell what the mode of death was. Um, because pillows are so soft, it doesn't leave any bruising, whatever. So it becomes their favorite. Nobody's really suspicious of them somehow. <laughs> so now they have two bodies and two wads of cash in their hands. 
So they're into it. They love it. Thing is, they now don't really have any sick or elderly tenants. It's just kind of normal people. So they decide that they are going to um, just start luring people in off the street, give them a little place to stay at the lodging house, and tell them that they can come in free of charge. And also, they lure them in with alcohol. So, um, they would get their victims super drunk, and then they would get them really drunk, and then they would, like, let them lay down or whatever, like, go to sleep, and then they would come in their room, and they would strangle them. So, not good. Um, come in, strangle them, and then they would leave them there until the morning to drop them off with Dr. Robert Knox. Dr. Robert Knox did buy every single body that the William Burke and William Hare killed. So, um, <clears throat> they start, they start just really killing people. They start taking people that they know that society, unfortunately, isn't really going to notice are gone, like homeless people, prostitutes, you know, that kind of, that kind of vibe. They start taking those people off the streets, luring them in, killing them, selling them. Um, so at this point, they have killed 15 people. It's a lot of people. Um, and this finally is where they slip up. So they have this woman named Margaret. Margaret is a prostitute. And they lure her in off the street by saying, oh my gosh, I think I know you're, you are like a relative of my mom. And she was like, I have no idea who you are, but whatever, I'll come in. And they were like, please have a drink. You can stay free of charge since we're like relatives or cousins or whatever he claimed that they were. So she agrees. And, um, sorry, she agrees, but here's the kicker while they were doing this they also had an actual tenant who was um it was a couple it was james and ann gray so james and ann gray were just staying for a couple days um they met margaret whenever she came in very nice they were they were like oh this girl's so sweet so they um they go to leave the next morning right all the while, last night, that William Burke and William Hare killed, um, killed Margaret in her sleep while James and Anne were also sleeping. So, they get up. They're like, all right, we're about to go out in the town, James and Anne. They're like, we're about to go out in the town. Um, we're going to check out. And we're going we're gonna to go. We're going to explore Scotland. Edinburgh, Scotland. And so... They get about halfway down the road and then Anne is like, oh my gosh, I left my stockings in there. They turn back around. They go to go back in the lodging house and she's like, hey, I left my stockings. And William Burke and William Hare are like, you can't go back in. Like there's, you can't go back in. And so at this point, James and Anne were kind of suspicious. They were like, why can't I go back in? Like I, we just checked out like not even not even an hour ago so they're a little suspicious and they just keep being like let me go back in let me go back in so finally um they say yes they're like fine whatever you can go you can go in um you can go back into the room so they go back into the room and of course they're going to be a little suspicious so they start looking around and lo and behold they find margaret under the mattress dead um so careful so they're like oh my gosh so they go back downstairs they act like nothing's wrong and then they immediately go to the police the police come into the lodging house they're like uh hey guys what's going on and here's where william burke and william hare really mess up they started telling two different stories um the police don't like it when you do that so they just went ahead and like arrested <laughs> they went ahead and arrested them because they were like okay we we know you guys are guilty. 
by the way you're acting. Um, oh my gosh, that is terrible. Sorry. By the way that you're acting. So, they go in, they get booked. Um, so, they, um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of out of whack right now. <laughs> they go in. And obviously they did it. So they get, they get arrested for it. They get booked for it. There's a trial. Um, William Hare says that if William Hare, William Hare's lawyer is like, listen, if you take this plea deal, if you take this plea deal, you can go, you can go. If you take this plea deal and you testify against William Burke, that you did never do nothing, you can go. And so William Hare's like, all right, you got it. Like, go ahead. So William Hare gets off scot-free, even though William Hare definitely did do something. I mean, he definitely killed people, <laughs> but it's whatever. Um, William Burke is convicted. He's found guilty and he was also, they were also tried with their wives. Um, the wives were not found guilty. And William Burke was hung on January 28th, 1829. And that is the end of the Body Snatchers of Edinburgh, Scotland. Um, I didn't plan this out very well. Give me one second, let me put on lipstick. Perfect. That is the story of the Edinburgh Body Snatchers.